day news on Prince Miller Entertainment TV. Today is the 21st of March uh, 2023. Remember guys to like, share, comment and follow. Follow us everywhere. Instagram, Facebook, uh, Prince Miller Entertainment. Our Facebook uh, group is a Prince Miller Entertainment TV. We're available on Twitter. It's a P Miller ENT. Yes sir. So, the Constitutional Court has rejected a bid to nullify the delimitation exercise which mapped new boundaries of the words the House of Assembly and Senate to be used in the forthcoming and any future general election. The new names and boundaries drawn by the Zimbabwe Electoral Commission have since been considered ahead of the elections sometime this year. The Apex Court ruling yesterday comes after a political activist, Tonderai Chinawa, had filed a lawsuit seeking to overturn the delimitation process arguing the process was flawed because the tenets of the constitution were not followed. But in a brief order, the Apex Court rejected the bid without giving final details of its decision, saying the reasons would be made available in due course. Chidawa's lawyer, Professor Lav Momaduku, described the court decision as unsatisfactory. It's a very disappointing judgment because the court has refused to have an opportunity to look at section 119 of the constitution and obligations of parliament thereof he said speaking to journalists outside Mashonganyika building which houses the constitutional court they will give their reasons later i suspect the court does not want to interpret section 119 to go as far as we had put it ourselves which accountability of state institutions such as independent commissions the parliament is entitled to investigate how they operate in terms of the constitution section 119 of the constitution gives parliament power to ensure that provisions of the constitution are upheld and that this state and all institutions and agencies of government at every level act constitutionally and in the national interest in this application, Chidawa accused Parliament of failing to invalidate the delimitation report and initiate investigations into it. The new constituency and word boundaries were uh, said were informed by population densities, geographic considerations, and the details of the country's tuition. Apart from population densities, other considerations in the delimitation exercise were physical features and means of communication and communities of interest. This resulted in some former commercial farms being converted into peri-urban areas, while some communal areas, especially those that border urban areas, were converted from their former description to urban or peri-urban areas. The National Constitution stipulates that ZEC must divide Zimbabwe into 210 constituencies for the purpose of electing members of parliament. To, to achieve this, the total number of registered voters, which was 5,804,376 at the time of the delimitation, was divided by 210 constituencies. According to ZEC, that process yielded a national average of 27,000. 640 registered voters per constituency, a figure that satisfies section 161.3 of the constitution, which states that the boundaries of constituencies must be such that, so far as possible, at the time of the limitation, equal numbers of voters are registered in each constituency within Zimbabwe. So, guys, that's the latest here. Last week, we talked about uh, MDC uh, T president, Badaklas Monzora. Washington is the same uh, court application, High Court. I think a fairy measure the limitation in the port E. And if we Monzora, I thought the time elections are Adam will postpone one. And Zekia Tangi is a carry. Go Gazira, the limitation report so that we can have a free and fair election. So it's safe to say that we Monzora. Machango wana the same outcome. Ya wana va tunderai chidawa. And the outcome ya chango poo wa munzora. In my reasons at Zoya maybe after two years or three years. And but anyway, we'll be keeping you guys here up to date with the latest here on a daily news, breaking news, everyday news on Prince Miller Entertainment TV. It's safe to say that my elections are using this delimitation report 
uh, which was accepted on the 20th of February uh, 2023. Do report it. I want to send this report to Kari. You can send this to my PF primary elections. And so, yeah. But a bunch of people are going to go to the same way. You can go to the same way. You can go to the same way. So, I do applaud him for challenging uh, this report. But all know what the outcome was going to be like this. But anyway. Daily news, breaking news, everyday news. Remember to like, share, comment, and follow. Follow us everywhere: Instagram, Facebook. We are also available on our Facebook page, which is a Prince Millennium TV. Just go like, follow, subscribe. Bless up.